So before I started this month's fish room tour, I just wanted to tell everybody about a sale that I'm running right now on my website, aquaticsupportsystems.com. We've got a 20% off Memorial Day weekend sale starting today, Thursday, and it's gonna go all the way through Monday, May 27th. Um, typically, I only give 20% off one time a year, and that's Black Friday, but I decided to go for it for this Memorial Day weekend sale just to show my appreciation. For all the support you guys have given the company, all the sales, all the YouTube views, just everything that's happened this year, it's just truly been awesome. And um, I just thought it would be a, a good idea to do a 20% off sale for Memorial Weekend only. Minimum order $29.99, use the code Memorial Day 2019 I'll post it below. Capital M on Memorial, capital D on day all one word with the number right afterwards memorial day 2019 at checkout going to get you 20 percent off your entire order and for those of you that um, aren't real familiar with the website or haven't checked it out lately um, you know aquatic support system's been known for selling southern delight fish food which you see right there but if you don't know we've added north fin there's the kelp wafers and the uh, krill pro, the bug bites, or the bug pro, I should say. We've got fluval bug bites. We've got a bunch of different types of shrimp food. We've got Sarah Onips. Um, so tons of different brands. I'll show you some of these here in a second, but uh, again, 20% off Memorial Day sale, aquaticsupportsystems.com. Make sure that you use the code Memorial Day 2019. So as most of you guys know, we sell the uh, Southern Delight bottles. Here's some Power Feed and some uh, large cichlid. Um, the one thing that the aquatic support system has been known for over the years is, um, other than Magnus, um, the uh, bulk. Um, we're, we're the exclusive bulk dealers for Southern Delight. Um, we recently changed over to these new bulk bottles. This is Power Feed, and it is uh, one and an eighth pound. Um, and I know a few people have talked about the price increase and also going to bottles. We did this for two reasons. Uh, this is kind of a joint effort with Southern Delight. Um, the bottles are gonna handle better in shipping. Um, they're not gonna, the, the bags sometimes would break. Also, this gives you an instant storage container with a flip top lid and it's sealed. Whereas with the bags, you had to put it in a different container but the major thing is with these bottles now what I'm doing is I'm getting much larger orders and they're coming directly the process is this I should say um, the foods being made at the mill comes right to Southern Delight they turn around and bottle all my orders all my bottles all at once and it's basically food just for the bulk program sealed comes to me right away so it's as fresh as it can get Whereas before with the bags, um, the food would come from the mill to Southern Delight. I'd order when I needed, and then the rest would sit in, um, in bins um, as different people needed different stuff. And um, so as you can see, in this case, it's coming basically directly to me with no chance of anything happening to it while it's sitting in Southern Delight's warehouse. Price increase, a couple people have talked to me about that. One. Southern Delight increased the price across the board on their food in 2019. So that's just something we gotta all live with. It's still a better value than any of the other fish foods out there as far as what you get for um, you know, the volume. And number two, um, with these bulk bottles, you are getting more than a pound. So really with the price increase and knowing that, there's only a couple that are a pound. The rest of the formulas are all at least in pound and an eighth or a pound and a quarter and sometimes even a pound and a half so really it's it's still a great value compared to any other brands out there so just wanted to address those couple of things um, and then again we carry some of these other brands now North Finn, Sarah, Fluval Bug Bites. Um, here's also something that we just launched is um, basically, you're getting a discount if you order two of the bulk bottles, so it's basically a two-pack. Probably won't come in a bag like that, but that's just uh, what I was uh, working on for something else. Um, and then we sell tons of shrimp stuff, but I'm not going to get into that um, because this is more of a fish room cichlid type video. So let's start with the tour. Um, I'm going to start over here. And again, sorry for the long salesy type thing at the beginning, but 
I needed to let you guys know about the sale because it's not something that happens every day and you can take advantage of it. And I just needed to address a couple issues with Southern Delight. Trimac pair, doing well. Um, still breeding um, regularly, although they are not um, nice to the fry. They usually eat them within a couple of days. But they're doing well. This male's coloration is just great. I love it. Female up there, a little skittish right now. Down below are my Midas Keepers. They're eating some Sarah Onip right now in the glass. These awesome treats, they're great for great for feed and fry. Um, you know, they're marketed more towards community fish. I did a video on this before, but you stick them on the glass and the fry just go nuts for them. <clears throat> Here's the 210, or one of them with the arowana, and then uh, this guy is just a monster. He's growing like crazy, his colors are great. There is a female moda in here as well. Sorry if you don't, if you're new, this is a, a real Blanco moda from Sean Hyden. There is my female Midas and some clown loaches. The female moda usually is hiding in that flower pot right there. I don't remember if I did a video since I got rid of the um, black belts, but they are gone and it's much, it's a much better tank now, much more harmony. I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can because sometimes these videos get quite long. All right, this is my F1 pair of umbies. This is uh, Optimus and this is his female matrix. And these are some new eggs, soon to be babies. They haven't spawned in quite a while, so um, I think I'll grow out. Um, I'll pull the fry if I'm able and uh, grow some out. I've had a lot of people asking me for umby fry lately, which, uh, you know, for a while, umbies were in such abundance that um, you, couldn't, uh, you couldn't give them away. But I may grow some out now if people are interested in them, and, uh, you know, maybe uh, we'll, uh, we'll get some people some umbies here in a few months down the road. But they're doing great. Um, just love this guy's color and his freckles and everything. He's got such good freckle pattern. Blue freckled monsters, as they call them. We'll move on to his parents, Magnus over here and Beast hiding out right now because Magnus is being a jerk. But uh, yeah, get his attention here. Get him to maybe come play. He's doing well, old and grumpy, but uh, you know he's doing good. Here's Beast. She came out permanently damaged eye, but uh, she's looking old for the wear. Also, he likes to get frisky with her and bother her, but it is what it is. Redis latest pair over here, doing real well. No, uh, no breeding, but um, you know, still love having these pair. These two as a pair in here, and then there's some Saboldi in here that are fun to have too. There's four of them. Look at this guy's nuchal hump though. Doing well overall. Down below is the uh, Hadiensis tank. They've, as you can see, have some fries swimming around. I pulled some over in one of my grow out tanks as well. I should have some Hadiensis available in, look at this guy, in the next two to three months. They're big enough to withstand shipping stress. Um, that's another thing too. Right now I don't have any fish available for sale. I get people emailing me quite a bit asking if I've got you know this or that and right now I just don't have anything available but I always let you guys know on videos when I've got something available so just kind of a helping hint right there or hand heads up I guess they're doing real well they like to move this sponge filter around right here all the time close up of the female so yeah um, the fest day pair up here are Gonna be camera shy, I think. He's hiding out back there. And uh, she's in the tube right now. I think they're a little stressed because I got these uh, um, 
fish foods up on the top. And then the four silver dollars are still doing good and growing like crazy. And she come out because she's been looking nice lately. But anyway, there's the male. The other Trimac pair, um, male's doing good. Female is hiding out quite a bit. He's really wanting to spawn again with her and uh, she must not be ready. He's picking on her a lot. Usually she's in this pot or back by the filters or else over by these filters. Um, I'm gonna feed them real quick because she usually comes out for that. Same with the festive. Well, I got all these. Take these off. Oh, here's the female fest day, by the way. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna feed these guys some uh, Southern Delight Large Cichlid here, and hopefully that'll draw her out. Southern Delight Large Cichlid in the awesome shaker bottle. There she is. Got a few nips on her. But uh, overall, I'm still optimistic that these guys will be able to grow and live in harmony and breed for years to come. Um, the rest of them, I'm not sure if I did a video since I got rid of them, but they're all gone. There was uh, six that I got rid of. All right. Um, we'll look at the flower horn here. This is Colossus, he's my 9.9 uh, .9 Magma, or excuse me, not Magma, um, Kampha. Magma's behind me. Doing real well. A couple people have uh, locally have been talking to me about trying, maybe I should enter this guy in this uh, flower horn contest that's coming up at one of our local fish stores. I'm, I may do it, I've just never done that before. I don't know how I feel about bringing a fish to a competition, putting them in a little tank that everybody can peer at them all day, but I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Might be something different, something fun to fun to try out, but he's doing well. The uh, Midas pair down here are doing well. No spawning activity, but they're living in harmony and looking well. I know it's dinner time or breakfast time I guess at the time I'm shooting this but yeah and then the uh, soul male moda is angry as always but he's doing good goes after me when I go in there to clean the filters and stuff like that and then the magma up here red magma is doing well I really have enjoyed the way this guy's colored up in the past year or so. Just a real, real nice looking fish. Alright, we'll go upstairs in the office and check out Cheeto and then we'll, uh, we'll get this video ended. All right, so up in the office fish room, I'll quick show you the 90-gallon uh, planted tank. This is a high-tech planted tank with a nice Monte Carlo carpeting, some aerial Vietnam growing here, uh, some AR Mini, and then some real lush um, Fissidens Fontanas. It's got cherry shrimp, a couple hundred, and then some, uh, some Cardinal Tetras. Really enjoy this tank. It's a nice tank to... Uh, Turn around when I'm sitting at my desk working and just have a look at. And then, uh, of course, Cheeto, the uh, Amphilophus citronellus, Midas cichlid, and his wife. They continuously act like they're about to spawn, but never do. They hang out in this pot all day, so I'm not sure what to do to change that. Um, but I'm going to continue to mess around with heat and uh, water changes and things like that. But if they don't spawn, that's fine too. I just enjoy having these guys up in my office and taking a look at them every day while I'm working. All right, so that's all I got for this month's tour. Um, do me a favor and make sure that if you're new to this channel that you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Share this video as much as you can, um, especially with this sale going on. I want to get the word out there to everybody, but um, 
um, you know, pass this around, share it on your socials, that type of thing. Hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know which fish in this tour you like best. Let me know which food um, that I talked about that you um, either already use or might be interested in using um, and why. And until next video, um, I appreciate you guys watching. And remember, 20% off AquaticSupportSystems.com. Use the code Memorial Day 2019. It'll get you 20% off your order. Um, this doesn't happen very often. Like I said before, Black Friday is usually the only time I do it. So we're going to go ahead and give it a shot here in appreciation for all you guys. And until next video, thanks.